so today basically we are going to discuss some of the filtering techniques that are important part of image processing before that to do image processing programs we have to first install a package in octave for installing the image package in octave you have to write pkg space install space minus forge space image you have to write this and after writing this you have to press enter after pressing enter make sure your net connection is there because it is going to download a zip file named as image minus 2.10.0.tar.gz as it is installed already in my laptop i am not going to install it once more because it will show an error so you have to write it and press enter after that make sure that your internet connection is available in your laptop or desktop and the zip file will get downloaded and it will march up then you have to select the current directory directory means where your images are being stored my images have, have been stored in the project final year project work medical part so these are the images i am using one is mri1 and mri2 so you can see the images this is the picture of the mri1 and this one is for mri2 so th these two pictures i am basically using for this uh, tutorial part so you have to select the current directory in which the images of your uh, requirement is there now firstly you have to write at the beginning of uh, that is pkg load image for your first program that you are going to run in octave you have to write pkg load image as you can see i have written pkg load image what is the function of this pkg load image is nothing but using or helping the octave software to load the image within it otherwise it will show an error or it will show that the pack uh, the image cannot be loaded so you have to write this thing for the first program make sure the first program you are executing you have to write pkg load image within that di directory so now we are going to run it and uh, before that uh, i am i am read is used for for reading the message and you have to give the file name specified file name within this uh, my file name is over here is mri2.pgm i am using this pgm type file over here and i am show is for showing the image as an output so if you run it we will see the mri2.pgm file so let's run it so this is the picture now there is another thing i would like to discuss in my previous lecture i have discussed how to convert an image to grayscale image that means jpeg or uh, pgn or jpg file to pgm file but with the help of gimp but we can also do directly over here here what we have to do i am showing in basic 2 pkg load image you have known this thing now i am reading this file i have commented this one so writing will not convert that image that is the rgb image to grayscale so let's run it before so this is my real image over there but for image processing we require and grayscale image so what we are doing we are just directly implementing this over here that is i we are taking i as a variable in which the picture will be stored we are converting rgb to gray this is the command for converting an rgb image to gray and the i we are putting the image we are trying to convert before variable it have been stored 
So i is equal to you can take it j or any variable. I am taking i only. I am overwriting it. So I am executing this program right now. So you can see the changes. See, this is the grayscale image we are going to use. So you can use uh, with the help of you can convert the uh, image. JPEG image or RGB scale image to grayscale with the help of King also or with this simple one line execution you can also do. That's your choice. Coming to the filtering part. Firstly, we are going to apply. Let's see the Gaussian filter first. What is Gaussian filter? Gaussian filter is nothing but a low pass filter. Low pass filter I mean to say it will only allow the low pass that means the low pixel values within the image. So we are Gaussian filter and what is the basic function of filtering is nothing but to remove noise or to suppress high or low frequency according to our choice. So it is a low pass filter Gaussian filter and I am reading the image in I and F special. What is the function of F special? F special is nothing but a two dimensional filter because your image is converted into a matrix from N cross N. So it is a two dimensional filter of right type. Here our H function is taken which is F special returns H as a correlation kernel. Okay, it is a correlation kernel which is appropriate to use in IM filter, which is my next part. What is IM filter? It filters the multidimensional array. It's multidimensional means because it's a 2D array we are taking for our image because it's n cross n matrix. So to filter the multidimensional array with multidimensional filter. We, of IM filter F special gives us a correlation kernel which is appropriate form to use in IM filter. Now IM filter uses a multidimensional array given by the F special multidimensional filter. Now within that within F special we have to write the specified type of the filter. Here we are using Gaussian filter so I have written Gaussian. Okay. Now for disk filter you have to write disk and for median filter we are using different type. Now what is the two thing except for the Gaussian that is 5 and 6. There may be a question that what is 5 and 6 why I have written over there. The first 5 is the coagulation window size and the second 5 the angle of standard deviation. So we have to mention it for the image. Now I am going to show the result. I am using mri1.pgm file which is nothing but this one. This image mri1.pgm file. I am using Gaussian filter over here and let's check the output of it. The output is given over here. See this is the output. It's blood. And because uh, Gaussian blur is mainly used for low pass filter, so it is blurred like this. Now we are going to check with disk filter. Disk filter radius of the given image and it applies a circular averaging filter. Suppose if I give 5 over here, it will take from the 0, 0, pixel to radius 5 and it will apply the disk filtering. Okay. It's nothing but circular averaging filter which help of radius. So as I have said it takes the radius so it is over here we are not giving the coagulation window size or the standard deviation we are just inputting 5 which is the given radius. And what is normal? Normal is nothing but is used to find the or uh, used to calculate the total number of pixels in the image. So let's run the program. Let's check. Now, this is the output of the Dix filter. Okay. You can see the changes 
uh, in the Gaussian filter and uh, Ricks filter, it have been more blurred because we have given a five size radius and it have blurred a radius of five size. And over here, you can see the output of the number of pixels that is 79344. So this is the pixel value or the resolution value you can say to be more appropriate. Now we are going to the median filter. This is the goat, uh, sorry, this is the code for the median filter. Matefield is mainly used for median filtering of an image in two dimensions. Okay, so if we use it, if we are using median filter, then we will use the command matefield2. Okay, so this will apply the median filter on the given image. So let's check the output of this one. So the output of this one is like this. See, this median filtering is nothing but it takes the pixel value, all the pixel values cell by cell and converts and takes the median of all the numbers and changes the pixel of, uh, sorry, each bit pixel with the help of median value. I mean to say if there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it takes uh, the pixel values, it will take the median out of this and it will change all the pixel values with 5. Okay, pixel cell values. So it is the median filter when we are applying it gives the best quality of the picture. Okay, now we are going to see another filter that is the motion filter. What is the motion filter? Motion filter approximates the linear motion of the camera. Okay, now here we are directly converting the RGB to grayscale. We are not taking the PGM file type. Now L and T are nothing but as I have told L is the coagulation windows and T is the standard deviation and F special I have discussed it earlier and here IM filter is being used as the same process as the Gaussian but here we have one change is there that is instead of Gaussian we have written motion filter. So let's run it and check it. Now this is the motion filter. So it takes as I have discussed it takes the approximate the linear motion of the camera. So what do I mean with that if the camera is in motion what is the exact or what will be the common output after filtering it will show that. So this is the output of motion. Now I am going to show how to find a negative of an image. So I have taken the PGM file type again I have what is negative of an image It's nothing but each pixel is being deducted from each pixel value. What I mean to say see a pixel value is over here for MRI 2.pgm file all the pixel values from all the pixel values 255 is being deducted. So to attain my goal that is the negative value. Let's check the output of this one. So this will be the output of the negative image. So all the things have been deducted. We have got the given image or the negative image. Now we can how we use or how uh, the code for increasing the saturation value. So let's check the output of this one. This is the output. See. This is my original image and after applying saturation increase, this is my output. Okay, saturation in uh, increase is mainly required to attain a certain quantized value and after that we uh, apply filtering. What is this RGB to HSV? We are converting RGB to HSV for saturation increase. Okay. Now uh, at what rate the saturation to be increased that is 1.2. Now we are again converting to RGB. HSV is used for increasing the saturation. So we are converting first HSV. Then how much amount of saturation we are going to increase. We are going to write it I into we are going to multiply the original image with that because each pixel value will be multiplied with this thing 1.2 over here 
and then it will be converted to RGB and the result will be shown. So this is it for today. Uh, thank you for uh, watching my video. Uh, in my next lecture, I will be discussing about the age detection types, different age detection types, first order, second order. So please like and subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.